Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout Shelter Survival. How y'all doing tonight? We got some things to do. Uh, let's see here. We got three uh, objectives up on the board. Again, with these small rat things, and I don't know exactly how they work. We'll get to that in a minute. Collect ten weapons for some coins. Woo, Mr. Mysterious Strangers, right? Oh my goodness, really? I went to go click on him, and there we go. You okay there, Diane Bowman? Anyways, uh, collect the coins, uh, collect weapons for coins, the mole rat infestations before they spread. Now, one actually worked. First of all, they have to be in a room, I know for sure, they have to be in a room that where they could spread. So you can't have them happen in a room where there's nothing around it. Secondly, I thought it was they had to start there by themselves and you had to send people to that room in order to stop them. That doesn't seem to be the case because the one I actually did get on that objective wasn't in a room that, that uh, there were actually people in the room. So, I don't know. We'll let it go because there's a couple other things we want to do. Because uh, I need, I have, I sent Star Pallet and Cross out to the Wasteland and she came back with some goodies. And we are going to um, collect all of her, out, or not her outfits, we're going to collect all of her guns because that will help us with that objective and bring her back in that gets us nine and then of course we'll have a raider attack at some point there was uh, i had an i actually had an inject let me try that again i actually had an objective where you had to kill five raiders at the door for a lunchbox and while i was going in to send her out and bring her back and stuff like that it kicked off two of them and we managed to get all of that. So I end up with another lunchbox. That's 10 lunchboxes. And then merge six pairs of rooms together for a lunchbox, which is very simple. In fact, I already have it started because of the uh, trying to get the mole ride attacks from before. So, ooh, no, I can't do that. Because I got this puppy here. Eh, might as well get rid of it. We got a little bit of extra coin. Merge six pairs of rooms together. Merge. 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 Skip a boom. Get rid of that. Yeah, we can we can we can waste the money on it. It's fine. <clears throat> Not that big of a deal. We have almost three hundred thousand. We've been there's the raider attack I needed. Hopefully they give me a gun and nothing else to help out. Get y'all up there, doing your thing. I can't do anything else with that right now. I can't build her. So how y'all doing? It's uh, It's been a weird couple of weeks here, or, you know, the first week here of the year. It's, what, January 10th? We've had sub-zero and, you know, really, really cold temperatures uh, the last two weeks, uh, you know, in, in to, to December of 2017 and now 2018. And now yesterday it was like 40 degrees. <laughs> what the hell was going on? Um, you know, hey, climate change, man. It's a real thing. Yes, collect that. That gets me my 10th one. Booyah, bitches. Kill you all up. You're okay. You're eh. We'll do it because we're going to end up collecting this. Another six here in a few minutes. All right, uh, let's kick out that. So what do we get? Uh, survive nine hours of vault without casualty. You know what? I'm I'm not even gonna go there. Even though it's for lunchbox, I'm I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to really. You know, I'll hang on to it for now. Because if I get one that I really can't do, then I have to wait another day for it. So, and the reason why I'm saying that is because the last time, last week, we tried that one. It took me until almost. 3 o'clock in the afternoon to get the video up because the game kept crashing in the background. Me trying, you know, like I said, you can open up the game, put it into a menu screen, and then leave it run for nine hours, and then it will do its thing. And it ended up crashing the computer from heat. So it wasn't worth it to me for that. How many more we got to go here? We got to go two more. So let's just do one more of that. Bagoom. Yeah, I hate when... I should put it on the other side of the screen. It's one thing I don't like about the game. 
is that they should have put it on the other side of the screen, that little notification, because it pops up right where all of your controls are for things. Like you want to rush or you want to do something else, it pops it up right in that where you can't touch it for like five seconds, otherwise you go into the objective screen. So, okay, survive eight more attacks with no casualties for 1,200 caps. So these ones are kind of tied together. If I was going to get rid of one of them, I would get rid of... Actually, if you think about it, the one I would actually get rid of would be the mole rat infestations because I don't know how well that really works. But the survive nine hours in the, in, the, in the vault with no casualties for lunchbox, you know what? Usually I love getting lunchboxes. The old days of the game was all about getting lunchboxes. I just don't really care that much at this point because, one... I can't accept any new dwellers at the moment because I'm still trying to train up these folks. And we got another one already almost, he's almost done. He's got three more to do. And that is Mr. Jesse Taylor here. And then he will be cycled out. There we go. There's one something or other. Let's get you, let's see if we can get some better guns in here. <clears throat> let's see if we have to. Yeah, we got to heal you all up here. We're not going to lose anybody. Not going to lose you, man! And Mr. Handy can die all he wants. I don't care about him. All right, well, uh, okay. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. Yeah. And then you got to show up and be a pain in the butt, but you're right there. All right. So there you go. That I love, you know, when they implemented that, I don't know when they did. That was last year, maybe the year before that. That was a wonderful thing, that whole um, being able to switch between inventory, equipped, and all, because it makes it so much easier to pass guns back and forth. Speaking of guns, we have uh, a collected one. This assault rifle through one of the raider uh, attacks, which was nice. And I think I'm going to give it to somebody that needs it. Uh, let's see here. Inventory. Yeah, you get that. And you, my friend, are okay. Whoops, I really didn't want to do that yet. You are okay. You are very okay. And you are okay. So let's go to another room and see if we, anybody else that does not have a good gun. I think everybody's doing pretty good. Let's check down in the lower levels because that's where usually we get people that don't have good weaponry. No, I think uh, let's do this. You know, there's just one way to do it. Equipped or inventory stats. Lowest one is this one. Uh, no, let's do, uh, let's, let's do all. So we can see who has the lowest one. You get that. All right, now we give you inventory. And then the other direction. You get that one. Whoopsie doodles. <clears throat> Getting to the point where I really don't care about the, uh, if you notice that, right? I don't really care as much about the, um, incidents as you know as well now the thing is though is i'm i'm kind of putting myself at a disadvantage here because i have to wait another 45 seconds for six more stem packs and that will only put me up over the in this double digits the unfortunate part of that is is it takes forever to get those back um but those can happen while i'm not in the game uh let's see here Somebody got, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Got to find the ones that have the crabby guns. Crabby guns! I think we're doing okay there. Yeah. I think that's everybody as far as guns go. Let's get rid of some of this crap that we don't need. Yeah, get rid of it. Let's sell them. They don't really. Now I should hold on to them. That's you know that's the things I should hold on to uh, to them because I could get an objective that would uh, you know. Now here's the other thing. 
Okay, that was one. That was one. All right. All right. We're we're good there. We're we're very good there. We're all fine. We're fine here. How are you? So I don't really have anything on the agenda for today except going through some of this stuff. We still have to wait. And I told you we we're going to get into that lull in the beginning of the year where I had to. Uh, I'm still fighting to cycle people through, and I'm still debating on whether or not I have to take a break. I hate to take a break because it's one of the few uh, series that actually get, um, you know, some views. Not very many views, but some. And I'm going to get rid of this one. don't really care about it. I'm not playing that game. 7,500 caps in the wasteland. That is up to you, my friend. <laughs> You're not doing so hot just yet, and we're going to wait to send you out until we have all of the uh, stim packs. And then we'll send her out. And that's we're not going to do that on camera. Because, granted, it's only for 1,200 caps. But it is caps. And she will bring back some cool stuff. Raider Turk! Alrighty here. Alrighty there. You over there. So. And then, like I said before, you don't... Oh, it's getting warm again. Man, son of a bitch. I got this fan underneath here, and I thought it would actually help, but it's, I don't know that it is. It's a shitty laptop, what can I tell you? Um, I have these people here that need to be leveled up, but I'm holding off on them until after I'm done recording, because then they can level up. I get the coins. I don't have to worry about using up you know, them be being a victim of an attack anytime soon, and then I can just come in periodically throughout the week, and then... Oh, well, we have that, I think. And down he goes. And down he goes. Good job, fellas. Good job. Uh, what was I going to say? I had a point, and now it's no longer there. Um, I could do the eight mole rat attacks. You know, we've done that before. I've done it several times, and there's really no real reason to do it. Now, I, you know, I don't think you can force an attack and have it not spread I know, what I'm saying is I don't think you can force an attack, have it not spread, and count towards that objective. But you know what? Be damned, we're going to try it. We're going we're gonna to try it. We're, we're going to try, put that one right there. We're going to grab our, we're going to grab our, our, one of our two of our best peeps. And throw them into that room. Well, we're going to throw these guys into that room for right now. And give them the best guns we can possibly give them. And see what happens. Oh, oh boy, here we go in that. So we'll take a time here to say how, you know, if you'd like to subscribe... To the channel, please do so. If you'd like to comment on the videos, please do so. If you'd like to like the videos, please do so. Because I have to sit here and wait for this thing to go through. And it's very annoying because this is another thing that has uh, a glitchiness in the PC version where you click on this to activate the uh, rushing of the room and it just sits there and spins forever until you get annoyed at the song. <laughs> but there you go. We're just adding that in there. That's my little disclaimer. Oh, God, make it stop. Thank you. Got to do that one time to get it out of there. Yeah, baby girl, do it. Oh, no. And we got a fire. And I really shouldn't be doing this right now because I don't have the, uh, look at how quickly they're going to go down in, in, uh, my goodness. I'm going to try to do this just, I, I'm actually, I'm going to try to just do this just to see if I can get a mole rat attack show up. And see if it kicks out, kicks out another, another one for the agenda. There, let's, well, here we go. Yeah, no casualties, but does not count to the spreading. Does not count to the spreading. So we're going to get rid of that one. And we're not even going to bother with this for right now because I don't have, ooh, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, you, you guys got to have these, these guns. Oh, shit, no. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, all right, there we go. You guys can go back to making us happy. Uh, 
They should all be destroyed. There you go. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I don't know what is up with this one, this stop the mole rat infestation before they spread. I had it work one time. I don't know that it works. Maybe it has to just be naturally spawned ones. Maybe it has to be ones that just happen on their own and not ones that happen because of uh, a failed rushing of a room. That could be the case. I don't know. The problem is, is that nine times out of ten, whenever I get an attack in one of my rooms, it's usually one that is not connected to something, and therefore it does not matter. And this blows because there's six of you in here, and I don't have a lot of things. So I'm going to have to go kick it out, or go back to, you know, going out and coming back in in order to uh, save on these things. What I did, I made a mistake, made a horrible mistake, and I let Star Paladin cross back into the vault without... Uh, exhausting a lot of the stim packs beforehand because I, I then just, they disappeared into the aether. They're no longer around. So we're going to take a little break. Let these things build back up and then we'll come back in. It's another late one here. Everybody going to be out later today. And this, folks, is why I'm an idiot and shouldn't be put in charge of anything. It's amazing what a second cup of coffee will do to uh, clear out the cobwebs. I have two Mr. Handies that are on floors that don't do anything besides just patrol. That wasn't one of them. Good job. Uh, yeah, so I had two Mr. Handies down on floors that do not do anything except patrol. So, and I'd already sent out Star Paladin Cross with all of my stim packs and everything else to collect the 7,500 caps in the wasteland. <laughs> and she's already collected 35 caps, which is, you know, she's got a head start on them. But... Mr. Handies, as we all know, do not get harmed out in the wasteland. They only collect caps, nothing else. Now, I did send her out there for something else as well, because I could use some more weaponry. She finds something good. And if I happen to get another uh, objective while she's out there to collect things or to sell things and I need them, so be it. That's why I stopped selling all the stuff. You know, I started selling a couple of the things and then stopped, because I thought, well, maybe I might, might get there. So I'm, I'm planning ahead. And she's helping by collecting those items. However, as I said, there is no son of a mama mama mama. -ma. I'm not going to collect get the mysterious stranger in time probably. Yeah, he was right there and I just missed him. I found him as it was as it was over. Um so they can go out there and they will collect up to 5000 caps before they ba come back. I need 7,500. Between the two of them, I don't have to have them out there the entire time. I can just bring them back when they about have about 3,300, 3,500 each. Or actually, no, would be 3,750. If my math is correct, and I, I'm not exactly sure I trust my math at this point after uh, that little debacle. And why can't I collect you? collect it just for now so yeah no clue why I did that but anyways I mean I'm I'm, I'm getting 7500 caps on its base so that that's the real that's see let me let me phrase this to you these objectives themselves for 1200 caps for 1200 caps for 500 caps those things we get to the point where it doesn't it's meaningless to collect m caps on objectives because we have so much. Well, you know, in the other vault when I had 999,000 caps, there's no need for me to do those types of objectives. Here, I still want to get to 999,000 caps. So these 1200 cap ones, though they may be tedious and annoying, there's a secondary benefit. Not only am I getting 1200 caps, I'm going to get 7500 caps in the wasteland. So that's almost 10,000 caps just from doing that objective. So it's worth my time in order to do it. That's the reason why. That's the reason why. And the other ones are just ancillary and I don't really care, but if I can complete them in the time, it's fine. Because we don't, you know, we, we are getting to the point where collecting caps is not 
our main goal. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. Let me let me get let me collecting caps on objectives are not our main goal because how small the rewards are. Getting lunch boxes, getting Mr. Handies, you know that kind of thing. We are trying to get to 999,000 caps, but you want to get there in a way that's not like grinding out in the woods of, of a RPG where you're killing level one animals a thousand times just to go up one level. So, you know, that kind of thing is, prefer you know, you don't, you don't want to do that. I'm going to let him fight it out because I don't have to waste any stim packs and I can sit here and talk a little bit. Um, with what's going on, he may die, but I'll revive him. That's two thousand cap, big deal, you know. No, like I said, I, I know there's a trade off. There's a tra <laughs> there's a trade off. I'm like, oh, you want to get those caps, but you're going to sacrifice twenty or two thousand caps to fix him up. You know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's turn down the sound a little bit there. So as you can see here, our vault is hasn't changed at all from what we were doing last week. And it's not going to for a little bit. And I've told you this before, and I, I, I hope that you still want to watch, if anything else, not for maybe the tips now, but for the commentary. Uh, I know that's that's asking a hell of a lot of you. Um, you know, we have some things in the background going on. I'm, I'm playing Skyrim. You know, here's the, th here's, the, here's the funny thing about uh, games like Skyrim and Prey and Bethesda in general. My, the way my schedule works on these games is I record a block of footage for Skyrim or Prey that gets me maybe two, three months worth of actual episodes. And then I come in and, then it's, and I spend an entire day editing. Like, Monday, I spent the day editing. I had recorded over the weekend maybe four hours, not even four hours, enough for like four to five, 30 to, you know, so I, I mean, it was actually like three and a half, four, almost four hours worth of actual footage and then I spent nine to ten hours on Monday editing it all and uploading some of them not all of them that takes a heck of a long time but man when I get into that groove and I'm playing it's so much fun I just I get lost in that game especially Prey and Skyrim and, and that's why I only do them in like so many chunks and it's like sometimes you come back and you forget what you're doing Prey you know I've said that before I like I could I, I waste a good ten minutes on an episode of Prey Saying, what am I doing? I forget what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? What's happening? And <clears throat> um, it seems kind of counterintuitive for content. But those games take a lot of time to edit. Especially Skyrim, because at this point in the, in, in the game, or in, in the game's life cycle, it's seven years old. Yeah, it's just come out on VR, so people are playing again. I don't know that people are going to be watching me playing it for any kind of... any kind of um, tips or tricks or, you know, a playthrough because I'm playing just the, the remastered edition that came out last year. But it's so much fun to play, and the problem is is that going through those games, it's like, okay, I'm in no dungeon. We all know how the dungeons work. We all know how the, you know, the, the grottos and all those other places work. You go in, there's places where there's stuff to gather, you know, gather. If it's something it's essential to the quest itself, yeah, I want to get that progression capture on film if it's me just firing 10,000 arrows from the shadows at Falmer it gets kind of pointless so one of the things I was was doing is I'm doing the thieves guild quests and all the way up to this you know, Twilight Sepulchre where you have to go and kill Mercer Frey and all other stuff spoiler alert but you know not really but still and there's a hell of a lot of Falmer and Karis's in this um in this place that I was in. I think it was Urkthand. And it got to be tedious for me to sit there and, and have to kill him, especially like, you know, going through the uh, excavation site in Markath, another one where there's a lot of Falmer and Dwemer, and, and a lot of the um, Dwemer bots and stuff like that, which are pain in the ass. So I didn't feel the need to show every single piece of footage. The problem with that being is, is that you record maybe an hour's worth of gameplay, you will then spend at least twice that amount trying to edit out all the parts that are not interesting, sort of give it a flow, which means you have to almost watch it again. So I've recorded an hour, and then I have to watch me play the game for an hour that I've already done. So it becomes kind of boring, and you sort of get, like, glassy-eyed, and you start going to Twitter, and you start going to Tumblr and all the other, other places. 
So yeah, it can be a bit tedious. So, but playing the game is so much fun. I wish I had a team of people. I wish I had. I wish. I wish the channel was big enough that I could have a team of people working around me to either play games, edit the game, edit you know places like Rooster Teeth and all that that have a, a dedicated editing team. That's awesome. Me, I'm a one man band. I'm not, I, and like I said, I'm not gonna be as big as those other ones. I'm gonna just do what I want to do. And if I can continue to do it the, the way I am, I will do so. But you know, who knows? God, Mr. Handy, we need to send you to fire training. You have taken you forever to do this. Almost down another half back to where it was. I spent 2,000 uh, caps for nothing. It got me out of you know. It got me out of the loop of, of, of incidents, and I can just sit there and talk. But yeah, and Prey is the same way. Prey is such a long game. I forgot what I was doing. I forgot. I forgot that I was playing a Bethesda game that can take maybe 40 to 50 hours alone. And you figure I started playing that game when it first came out. Every week, at least a 20 to 20 minute to hour long episode. That means I've put almost 52 hours into the game playing it. Based off of each week's video being 20 minutes to an hour long, and some have gone over, and uh, I did, it's almost back to what, you know, I think it was, what, May or June it came out? So, yeah, I, and, you know, and what I didn't put in, the, it's what I didn't put in the video also added on to that. So padding that time from 20 minutes to an hour to actually like two hours of, of game play that got whittled down. So, yeah, 50, 50 some hours on that game. I've spent, I think, 284 days in Skyrim. Of course, a lot of those are me waiting two days for Bellathor to open back up so I can sell all my crap. But we're going for trophies on that one. That's actually specifically going for trophies and just the, the, the vanilla, not even the DLC. But it's fun to me. I, I like and I enjoy it. I, you know, and part of the problem was is that I played that game on PS3 to a certain point and then had to start over on the computer and then had to start over again. I think it was 18 episodes we got into it before the the remastered version came out. And I wasn't even putting on an episode every week on, on Skyrim. I got I kind of got laxed at the end where I wasn't putting on an episode every week. I was, you know, I had I had good, you know, um, buildup of episodes that I released before. Um, oh, yeah, you're not... Uh, you say, why are we in a deficit there? He's like, oh, yeah, he's not... Oh, my goodness, look how bad he got... My goodness, that was horrible. Good job, Mr. Handy. I know I gave you shit for not doing a good job, but good job staying in there and, and getting it done. You, you know, cost you your life and everything. But <laughs> So, yeah, that's, you know, that's where I'm at in my life of playing Bethesda games. And how could, you know, listen, if Fallout 3 was remastered for PS4, I would buy it. If New Vegas came out for PS4 remastered, I would buy it and play it and record it because I've never played the game before. It would be a whole new experience. Bailey has it for Xbox. She's played it. She's at a certain point. She talks to me. She gets frustrated with things, you know, certain quests and all that, and I would love to play it. I mean, I know it's... People love it for what it is, as buggy as it is, uh, but still, you know, it, it was a game... It was almost as... It's like they didn't do anything to improve upon Fallout, but they put out another game of Fallout that was just as good. And just as long, almost, I guess. So that would be acceptable with me. I've got another game. I haven't. I have. I bought a brand. Well, I bought a game that I haven't played for maybe about five years. It's about seven. It's it's about as old as um, Skyrim is. I haven't even cracked it open yet because I don't have time to play it, and I don't have I don't have space to record for it because I'm trying to get. I wanted to finish up either. Um, Skyrim or Prey before I started it, and I realize now that that's a, a fool's errand because I will never get there until next year. So I might... I was playing Seven Days to Die. I think my, Seven Days to Die might slip off the radar for a while, which sucks because I had enjoyed playing it, but I don't think I can uh, continue... It just it, it it takes too much time for me for it to play, and I want to I want to I want to get back in this one because again this will be another one that's going to take me forever to play. Based on the, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. Sorry. <laughs> pay attention a little bit to that one. 
Uh, it, it'll take me forever to play just because it's, it's on a grand scale. It's Dead Island. We know what it is. It's Dead Island. It's the remastered version of Dead Island, Dead Island for PS4 and Dead Island Riptide. Riptide. And I've I've never recorded playing Dead Island because it was only on the PS3. Dead Island Riptide was one of my first forays into trying to be on the cusp of relevancy. And it actually got me the most views of any video at that point by me not being able to play it. <laughs> Because it was so buggy and laggy, and that was because my I didn't realize my time in the you know it was a laptop issue, it wasn't the uh, the game itself. I I did everything I could to make it better, and I realized that I'm recording it. When I didn't record it, I was playing it. It was clipping through real quick, and I wasted f forty bucks on that. Ah, no, I wasted forty to fifty dollars downloading that game and never played it. That's that's the life. I have I have probably a thousand dollars worth of games I've never touched. Isn't that sad? If I was a teenager, I would be through all of those by now. Adults, adulting sucks. Don't don't become an adult. <laughs> I think we've exhausted all of our patience for this. You've only cut. Oh my God, another. You found one. I found one cap, sir. You've been out there for thirty minutes and you found one cap. Oh, you found four caps. She's got. She's been out there for half an hour. And she found sixty-five. Well. Eh, I mean, you know, free help. What can you expect? Oh, and the Mr. Mysterious Stranger. I keep calling him Mr. Mysterious Stranger. It's the Mysterious Stranger. He's got no title. Doesn't matter. But hopefully, hopefully we can get all these peeps leveled up all the way so that we can... Francis. Hi, Francis. Oh, I can't look. Oh, you got seven hours and 44 minutes to go to the next level. But poor Mr. Handy. He's got to do it all. <sighs> eh, collect it. Keep it around to sell it for, for, for an objective. It's what we do. It's what we do. So I think we're going to call it here. Another week. Another pointless episode. <laughs> but I want to thank you for coming back. Hopefully, hopefully real soon we can get some more peeps trained up and have everybody started to filter about... Um, I hate taking a week off from it. I hate taking a week off from it because I feel like I'm going to lose what viewership I do have if I, if I, if I take a week off. But I may have to. We'll see. I was going to just push it to Fridays. Maybe I should put Fallout Fridays. Uh, and it gives me the whole week to record it. Because the weekend I can't really do much. And that's sort of in the middle. Monday and Tuesday are kind of hard for me to get because I'm doing other things. Everything I do over the weekend I do on Mondays and Tuesdays. And then I have all of, all all week to prepare a video. I might have to switch up the schedule. I We'll see how that goes. But if next week is just as bad as this week, I'm going to do that, I think. So, All right. Hey, that's it for tonight. I want to thank you all for watching and enjoying and please tell your friends come join the fun and we will see you next time have a good night bye bye